This is the Emergency Medical Minute. The Emergency Medical Minute is excited to announce that we are now offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits via online course modules. To access these and for more information, visit our website at www.emergencymedicalminute.com backslash CME dash courses, or simply click on the link in our show notes and create an account. All right. Good evening and welcome to your medical minute. I had a, uh, so basically a two and a half year old that was brought in by paramedics with concern for seizure. So, which is of course very concerning to us too. So um, parents described kind of some shaking activity, eyes rolled back, cup foaming at the mouth and then turning purple and then mom did some brief CPR. So we always wonder in these cases, you know, was the child joking? Were they just passing out or crying hard? What was really going on? But then the paramedics thought that they saw a seizure. And then shortly after the child arrived here, she had another seizure and in total proceeded to have seven seizures in the emergency department. She was afebrile. She didn't have any medical problems and uh, she didn't have any obvious signs of trauma. And so this was obviously very distressing to the parents who seemed really normal and appropriate and, and truly having never seen seen a seizure wondered if their daughter was going to die or not really distressing situation for them so uh they reported that she'd had three days of vomiting and diarrhea she was typically like a really picky eater so she'd just been kind of eating and drinking nothing and then she did have fevers up to 103 but didn't have any fever today and didn't was a febrile when we checked her into the emergency department so what is the cause of our seizure like what are we worried about what do we, what do we think's going on here Sodium, so maybe electrolytes are off. A little mumbling, anything else? So, I mean, we think about non-accidental trauma in kids, right? We think about meningitis. Maybe it's just a new diagnosis of epilepsy. Febrile seizure, but she wasn't, uh, she wasn't febrile. What's that? She had, so she had seven in total witnessed by us. So there's a lot of seizures. So really, really worrisome. So in the end, uh, we did a head CT, we gave her meds, we did a workup, she didn't have a fever, she didn't have a white count, her electrolytes were totally normal, she didn't have any signs of trauma, and so it was very weird. And I and, uh, was wondering if I needed to do more tests like a lumbar puncture or MRI, and uh, we called the pediatric neurologist who said, oh, she's had gastroenteritis, that's it, it's just seizures associated with gastro- gastroenteritis, we see that all the time. And I thought, we don't see that all the time. We see kids all the time with vomiting and diarrhea and they never seize. So I wanted to look up a little bit more uh, about this entity. So there is something called CWG, which is, it's like a really silly little acronym. Convulsions with gastroenteritis is what, it, what this entity is called. So it's normally in previously healthy kids. They're afebrile. They have brief seizures that are accompanying uh, a bout of gastroenteritis, and they don't have any signs of dehydration or electrolyte abnormalities. So this entity that apparently is somewhat common, but I had never heard of before, um, when they have these seizures, they tend to occur in clusters, which increases the freak out factor of the staff and the parents, right? Seven seizures is a lot of seizures. It's more common in patients that are of uh, East Asian descent. Um, They have a normal EEG. Um, They don't need to be on seizure meds. They generally don't go on to develop uh, epilepsy. It's more common in females. And then the age group is kind of six months to about three years. And they say in the literature that it is in one to 2% of gastroenteritis cases. Although I feel like we've seen thousands uh, of gastroenteritis patients without seeing this entity. Uh, There are a couple of explicit infections that are associated with this, like Campylobacter and Shigella, but it can also be just your normal viruses, norovirus, and all those other ones. And so the management is, you know, just control the seizures, admit them for observation if they need to be, and uh, then they get to go home with no new medications. So uh, we're still going to do the normal workup, but um, just like a single uncomplicated febrile seizure, we probably don't have to be as worried if the workup is negative and it's a healthy kid and they've just had some gastroenteritis. It might be the dreaded CWG. So that's it. Thanks. Hello, EMM listeners. We are dedicated to providing you with high-quality educational content free of charge and without ads. As a nonprofit organization, we rely solely on donations. 
So if you enjoy our show and are able to make a one-time or recurring donation to help cover our operational costs, any amount is helpful in making this show possible. Click the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you.